Hey guys, in my looking around on the internet this morning, as I do every morning, I found a couple of interesting articles on art projects. And I'm always looking at, I always look for different art related topics. Um, some of the websites that I go to are artnews.com. And another one is actually a technology site, but a lot of times they have art-related topics involved, and that is Gizmodo. And this morning they each had really cool articles on different art projects that different artists were doing, and I wanted to tell you guys about them and maybe ask you guys about your art projects. But So let me tell you about the first one. The first one is from Gizmodo, and I'll put links to these articles in the description of this video, by the way. But the first one is this guy, Graham Fink, is an artist, and he has been an artist for a long time. He's he's a successful artist, um, you know, one of the rare one of the rare breed of successful artist, and he actually worked with a company to create this certain type of eye tracking software so that he could draw portraits using just his eyes. So, you know, wherever he looked would be where he drew. And the portraits that that he created are I mean, the ones that that are examples in this in this article are just it's kind of amazing. And I mean, it's something that I, I don't think that I would be able to create something like that with a pen and paper and, you know, my hand. <laughs> so, amazing that he just did it with his eyesight. He doesn't have any, what I found interesting is I actually went to his site because I was like, does he have some sort of disability that he can't, you know, use his, um, use his, you know, hands or something, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like he just had this idea and, you know, he's in the position where he was able to approach this company and they worked together to create this, this software, which I imagine could be used in the future for people who do have limited use of their hands or and or feet uh, to to be able to create art and I just think that's so cool and it's such a cool project you know that he had this idea and he went out and he made it happen and then the other one is the other one is about Leonard Nimoy Spock for those of you who uh, like Star Trek <laughs> But I don't know if you guys know, he was a photographer as well. And it was something that he studied and he did a lot of. And this project that is highlighted on artnews.com is his multiple personalities. Um, or not multiple personalities, that's just in the title. Secret Selves is, his, is the title of his project. And it's where he took photos of people. You know, he asked them, what's your secret self? You know, what are you inside that maybe you don't show and it, you know, he would take, he would set things up and take a portrait of, of a person being their secret self. And they use a couple of examples in, in the article. One of them that I thought was really funny was a woman who um, had a very restricted childhood, very, uh, very conservative. And she said she had to be real grown up when she was real young. So now it's her time to have fun. And she, I guess, dressed up, they don't have a, a photo of this, but at least in this article, but she dressed up in, like she made some sort of dinosaur costume and she's just like acting like a dinosaur, play acting in her secret self portrait. And I just think that's so cool. And it's, it's a neat, I'm sure to look at the collection, it's probably really neat. And it was probably um, eye opening for the people who got their photos taken and probably also really rewarding for Mr. Nimoy. Um, to, to see all that, to be able to draw that out of people. And I guess what I want to know from you guys is that, you know, these artists, they had these ideas and, and they went out and they made them happen. And I want to know about your projects or if you have any ideas for projects that, that have been sitting in your head, but maybe you feel like you can't do or you feel like, you know, it's too difficult or something. So let me know. Let me know in the comments and um, know that I will probably try to encourage you to do it. <laughs> and that's it. And I will talk to you guys later.